Have you ever looked up at the power lines stretching across the sky and wondered, why do they use aluminum instead of copper? After all, copper is known to be a better conductor of electricity, right? So if copper conducts electricity more efficiently, why don't we use it to carry massive amounts of power across cities, towns, and rural areas? Well, it turns out there's a fascinating combination of science, engineering, and economics behind this choice. Today, we're going to uncover the real reasons why aluminum, not copper, dominates the world's electrical power grids. Let's start with the most common assumption, that copper is the superior material. And you'd be right to think so, at least in some ways. Copper has a higher electrical conductivity than aluminum. That means, for the same cross-sectional area, copper can carry more current with less resistance. Less resistance means less energy lost as heat, which seems ideal for transmitting electricity. So from a purely performance standpoint, copper sounds like the perfect material for power lines. However, when you zoom out and look at the bigger picture, the sheer distances involved in power transmission, the cost of materials, and even the physical properties of each metal. You'll quickly realize that copper, despite its superior conductivity, isn't always the best choice. Engineers have to think beyond just electrical performance. They have to consider practicality, efficiency, safety, and cost. And that's where aluminum begins to shine. One of the biggest reasons aluminum is preferred for power lines is weight. Aluminum is about three times lighter than copper. That's a massive difference when you're stringing thousands of kilometers of cable between tall towers. Copper, while more conductive, is much heavier and denser. If copper cables were used, the support structures, those large metal transmission towers, would need to be much stronger and more expensive to handle the added weight. Lighter cables mean less stress on the towers, fewer risks of sagging, and easier installation. Aluminum's lower density allows engineers to build longer spans between towers, saving both materials and construction costs. When you're dealing with an entire power grid that stretches across countries, even small weight differences translate into enormous savings. So in this case, aluminum's lightness is a big win. Now let's talk about money. Copper is expensive, and not just a little bit. On average, copper costs about three to four times more than aluminum per kilogram. When you're building power lines that require thousands of tons of material, that price difference becomes astronomical. Using copper for long-distance transmission would make power infrastructure costs skyrocket, which would ultimately mean higher electricity bills for everyone. Aluminum, on the other hand, is abundant and far cheaper to produce. The Earth's crust contains far more aluminum than copper, making it easier and less costly to mine and refine. That affordability makes aluminum a far more economical choice, especially for projects that require massive amounts of metal, like national power grids. So while copper may be the better conductor, aluminum offers the better balance between performance and cost. It's true that aluminum isn't as conductive as copper. It is only about 61% of copper's conductivity. But engineers have a clever way around that. They simply make aluminum wires thicker. By increasing the cross-sectional area of aluminum conductors, they can carry the same current as a smaller copper wire. And because aluminum is so much lighter, even when it's thicker, it still weighs less overall. This makes it a practical solution. Aluminum cables might be bulkier, but they're easier to handle, install, and transport. 
The trade-off in conductivity is easily offset by aluminum's lower cost and lighter weight. So, while on paper copper looks more efficient, aluminum ends up being more efficient in real-world applications, especially when cost and structural design are factored in. Another advantage of aluminum is its natural resistance to corrosion. When aluminum is exposed to air, it quickly forms a thin layer of aluminum oxide. This layer acts as a protective barrier, preventing further oxidation and rusting. Copper also oxidizes, but its corrosion can lead to the greenish patina you often see on old copper roofs or statues, and that can degrade performance over time. Aluminum's protective oxide layer helps ensure long-lasting performance in outdoor environments where power lines are constantly exposed to moisture, air pollution, and temperature changes. Most of the high-voltage power lines you see today aren't made of pure aluminum. Instead, they use a composite called ACSR which stands for Aluminum Conductor Steel Reinforced. In these cables, the steel core provides strength and support, while the surrounding aluminum strands carry the electrical current. This combination gives the cables both high tensile strength and excellent conductivity, while keeping the overall weight manageable. There's also an environmental angle to this story. Aluminum is easier to recycle than copper and can be reused with relatively little loss in quality. Since large amounts of aluminum are used in transmission systems, being able to recycle it efficiently makes the infrastructure more sustainable in the long run. Plus, the lighter weight of aluminum means transporting and installing it consumes less fuel and energy compared to copper, further reducing its environmental footprint. So, the next time you look up at those massive power lines stretching across the landscape, remember, aluminum wasn't chosen by accident. It's the perfect balance of conductivity, weight, cost, and durability. While copper might be king inside your home's electrical wiring, aluminum reigns supreme in the vast networks that keep our world powered. It's lighter, cheaper, corrosion-resistant, and engineered for the long haul. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed uncovering the hidden stories behind everyday things, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Genosco. Hit the bell so you never miss a new discovery. Until next time, keep exploring the world's surprising backstories.